Okay, so now in unit 1.5, we're going to be dealing with radicals, with rational expressions, all dealing with the roots. That's what we talk about. Okay, so this first exercise, we are asked to find the root. And in general, we use the radical. This is that operator. And the number here is the root in itself. And in this case, well, in general, we are asked to write it in this form. This is the radical form. Eventually, we will see how it is written in the exponent form. So the thing is, a is the number uh, of which we want to get the root of, and n is the root itself, as I was mentioning. Okay, so we are, in this case, going to solve this exercise where we want to get the sixth root of 64. That means I want to find a number that multiplied by itself six times, you get a 64. It's not the same thing as saying that it's a number times six. Be careful with that. It's a number multiplied by itself six times, but the same number, you will get a 64. You can use a calculator to do that. Eventually, you will get to the result being a two. All right? Now, let's take a look at the next exercise. In this situation, we are asked to find the dimensions of this cube. As you know, the cube is a polyhedron which means that it's a solid figure where all, in this case, all of its sides measure the same length. So that is why I can write that this x, x, and x, the width, the length, and the height are all the same. Like, uh, take into account like a, like a dice, right? Okay, so with this in mind, we are told, and I forgot to write, by the way, we are given the value of the volume, which is... 729 cubic feet. The point is that in order to find the volume, we need to multiply each of the lengths of the cube. That means that x multiplied by x multiplied by x, that's the volume of the cube, which means that the volume is x cubed. So this x cubed is the volume which we are told is 729. So 729 is x cubed. So now, thing is, how do we solve for x in this case? Well, we just need to make sure that we do the opposite process of the power of 3, which we already know it's the root. Which root? The cube root. So in this case, we apply it here, we apply it here, but remember, when there is no number here, it should be a 2, but we need, we need the number 3 here. So it's the cube root, so that is why we write those small number 3s, hope you see them. And when you want to find out the cube root of 729, that is 9, so x equals 9. What does that mean? That each of these lanes of the cube are 9 feet. And with this, we're done. All right, again, you can use the calculator to calculate these roots, right? 